We just finished up the two neighborhood sales. We're going to head to the ReStore in Johnson City, Tennessee. What I love about the ReStore is you just never know what you're going to find. And this is a really large ReStore in Johnson City, Tennessee. One of our favorite ones to go to. And on Saturday, let's see, they opened at 10. Let's go in and see if we can find something. Lots of furniture, which is pretty normal for here. It's just a little shelf. Oh, I think it's a golf ball display. It's $3. This furniture can cost a lot. I think I'll pass a lot of people here today. Okay. <laughs> Desk memo. A lot of wear. Little souvenir from Virginia. I'll pass on that. It's the fun of looking, you know? Just never know what you're going to find. Oh boy, I'm in trouble. There's a lot to go through. Lamps and glass and glass and more glass. Yep, let's get started over here. Let's, oh, wait, let's go up here. One dollar each for these little individual little compotes. Fruit and dessert bowls, ice cream bowls. I'll tell you what, there's so much here. Let me just do a walk through. Then I'll come back shop and if I find something I'll come back to the camera because it's kind of overwhelming right now and the same thing with the coffee cups lots and lots of coffee cups oh smiley face it's probably an F2D floral teleflora here's a little salt glaze Oh, see, I said I was gonna video, then come back to it. No, no markings on it. It's five dollars. It's gonna be a five-dollar day, maybe. But I'll be back. Margarita, anyone? These are cute. Sort of cactus. No branding. I can tell you, they make them a lot fancier than this, and so I'm gonna pass on these. Lots of noise here today. And I don't know if these have any worth or not. McDonald's, Olympics, Los Angeles, 1984. I'll have to look these up. They're only selling for about $3 each, and there's a lot of them on eBay. Even though it's only 50 cents, I'm going to pass. I saw this the last time I was here. This is one of those things that's so ugly, it's almost cute. I don't know if I should buy it or not, it's $5. Too funny. See what's in the candle section here. Now we're out of candles already. Juicer. Lots of dishes. have all these to look at. Yeah, this has a mid-century modern look. I wonder if it has any markings on the bottom. Let's take a look, Mark. Oh, there's nothing on the bottom. Not even USA. It's pretty cool, though. I wonder if all this stuff will come off. That sticky label, that'll sticky come off. Scuffs. Yeah, that'll come off. Okay, for $3 in that mid-century modern look, meaning it's probably a 1980s base, but it has a mid-century modern look to it. So we'll do it for 3 bucks. Add it to the cart. Oh, what's this? This is funny. What is that? Thank you, candle. It's really scuffed up, though. I mean, it's pretty rough shape. It went $4 for it. One sold on eBay for 19 dollars and it's in rough condition, so I'm going to pass. Cute, though. These are interesting. They're little vases by Home Interiors, and they have holes in them, so you can hang them up on the wall. But it's they're $2 each. That's $6, and they're only going for about... 24.25 on eBay, so six dollars. No, we're gonna have to pass. But I've never seen it before, so I thought I'd show them to you. 
check these guys out. Aren't they cool? They might be, you know, well, they look like they're hand sculptured, right? Unique. <laughs> Does have a label on the bottom, South Africa, and they're $5 each. And they are so neat. I think, I can't find anything like it on eBay, but I think I gotta get them. What do you think, Mark? I think they gotta go home with it. Yep. What do we have here? Casserole dish, Hamburg Chef, made in China, number 13A. I've never seen one of these before. It's kind of cute. And then we have the vintage section over there. Check out. This is a cute table painted up. I used to have something like it, only mine was square. But it's cute. It's $95. Wish I had a place for it. We always check out the appliances now. Always. This was originally $39.99. Oh, it's definitely been open. I can hear now. Pass. This is the vintage section that I talked about. And I don't buy things in this part very often. This is a Prussian glass, and this is Federal. I want $3 each. A little high right now for those. We carried our black light with us today just to see if these have any uranium in them. No, it shines purple, so it doesn't. What color would it shine, Mark, if it had uranium? Yellow green. Yellow green. City. You know that's the one we like to go to. We have one in Kingsport, Tennessee, but it's not nearly as nice as the Johnson City Restore. It is a Friday and it just opened, what, 20 minutes ago. So let's go in the Restore see what we can resell on eBay. Thank you, Mark. Let's see what we can find today. Let's see what we can find to resell and what's on sale today. Here's a color-coded chart. We got my trusty little basket. Now we just gotta look around. You just never know what you're going to find. So you kinda gotta look at everything. Hager. Hmm. How much? Five dollars. Too much. I just bought a bunch of these. A little different though, but for 50 cents each, so I will pass on those. Always check this area out for in cartridges as such. As you know, that's kind of my routine. Check this rack out. It's been a couple weeks since we've been here. And since we were pretty close by, we thought we'd stop in and see what they've got. And, you know, I, I go into the art area sometimes, but I rarely buy anything, mainly because it's too big to ship. But I still like looking around. 
Do you sell photo frames and stuff like that? And I do pick up some photography now and then. Ooh, it's always so tight in here. It's hard to move. I don't see anything at a glance. Then we got linens and more art and stuff, big stuff, more linens, hair, curling irons and stuff. And then we got the books and the crafts. Oh, they've got new bookcases here today. Lots more. I wonder what they did with all the craft patterns. I don't really buy much anymore, although I'm always looking for a prairie schooler because they still hold their value. Oh, they got craft tables over here. Interesting. Tons of bows and ribbon. Tons of stuff. Dollar General. Dollar General donations, I guess. What's this? I think I have that at home already. Okay, I'm going to put the phone down and take a look at some of these books. Just because. I don't do that very often, so I'm going to look at them today. And of course, I have to look at all the fragile stuff because that's what I do. I always look at the fragile stuff, buy a lot of it. This is all. Finial here. Finial. Not sure what it's to. Top shelf, little press boss, sandwich boss. That little texture there makes it sandwich boss. Three footed, it's a dollar. It's, it's pretty, but not too exciting. Oh, there's some little mini casseroles. This, uh, pattern here. I'll put it up on the screen because my mind is going blank today. Six dollars. Wow. I think I should have bought more at the uh, church rummage sales I went to. These are different. Really different. But I'm going to pass is this and oh it's a candle I know I recognize that it's a glass candle jar two dollars for gravy boat and it's Jacqueline Smith huh Kmart no nope, don't think so what do we have down here Bowls look older color. Yeah, it's like an aqua milk glass. It feels like milk glass. It's a dollar. There's some bigger ones. Yeah, it's um. It feels like glass. It doesn't look like glass, but it feels like it. Sorry, get my card out of the way. These are like a Melmac or plastic. No, I might try to look these up. Can't really find anything like them, so I'm going to have to move on. Let's go backwards. <laughs> Let's park my cart. Park the cart and walk backwards. rearranging again. I don't want them to get broken down here. It's 
turn the button. I don't know how people put these things out and put them where they do. Let's put this over here. Can't read it. Little oval glass holes. And I might as well volunteer here, right? Might as well get paid for rearranging. Oh, what's that pink dish? A little heart. Like a Dollar Tree, probably. down below one more. Oh, that's a big bowl. That is gigantic. Wow. That's pretty common. All right, moving on. Oh, there's Mark. He's going to check out everything behind me there. Say hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. It's a nappy dish. I'm not sure, other than the little handle, and it's not like dish. I don't know why they call these nappies. Sorry. Uh, My cart's in the way everywhere I go. So. No, you're fine, madam. This is a little two handled dish. Boy, that is sharp. It's sharp, and yet I don't believe for a second that that's anything but pressed glass. Check these out. Uh, I don't feel like it's real, real sharp. No, not real sharp. It's sharper than most pressed glass. Vitriol. Edwin China made in USA. And it's got little feet on it. Funny because it's got three and then but there's you'd expect one back here and it's not. Right. Think anybody wants a clear nappy dish for three dollars? I'd like to You're find them with color. Madam. Madam. Huh. I might look these up. Okay. They're only selling for about five dollars, so I'm going to pass. And more glassware and vases and coffee cups and Stuff. Look at these coffee cups. Bailey's coffee. Hmm, might have to check that out. So I cannot find these. They are just silk screened, but the bottom looks older. They're a dollar each. There's four of them. I don't know if it's a good thing that I can't find any like it. Maybe that's in my favor. I can set my price. Oh my gosh. Coffee cups. At least there's four. As long as they're all in good shape. So far, so good. They don't exist, hmm. but they will exist once I list them. Holland House. Holland House cocktail makes jigger. You know, sometimes if you get enough of these, they can be worth some money. This one's a dollar. I have to see if they have any more. Found some little wine glasses here with a green stem. Quick search showed me they are Luminark, and it says made in France. I don't know if you can see that for a dollar each. We're going to pick these up, put them in the basket, keep shopping. I always have the most interesting lamps. Get out of your way here. Seems like, even though it's been a couple of weeks since we've been here, that there's a lot of the same stuff here at this time. Yeah. The day of the rolling pins, $5. I always like the ones with red handles to decorate with. What else we got? Teapot without its lid. This is odd. I don't know why it has the little slots here. Anybody know? Help me out. I don't know what that's for. Back in the cubby of plastic. And I don't know, odds and ends. It's always the odds and ends like plastic. What is this? Three dollars. A vintage little coffee pot. That says one dollar. Does it really go in that case? I don't know. I might have to put the camera down and check this out. It doesn't belong in there. It's a polyperk. I don't know if you can see that polyperk, but it's missing its cord, so I'm not going to do much good without the cord. What do we have up here? I do like to look at wood bowls. This is a nice nut bowl. Not marked. It might be handmade. Comes with the tools for $3. Then we have some wood bowls. 
pretty rough. Plastic. That's really rusty. I don't know. You just gotta look, you know? Just keep looking. I am back to these poles again. After a little more research, I think they're Mosser tinted glass. And you know what? That color looks turquoise there. But it's actually like a robin's egg blue. So a little deceiving. These ones are $2 each and there's only three. These are a dollar each and I've got four. Even if I'm wrong about the Mosser, these are tinted glass holes. They sort of look like melt glass in the center, only it's not white. I'm gonna take a chance on these and research them further. $4. My guess is, after my research, they might be worth about $30. We'll see, but I'm gonna put them in my cart. All right, sometimes there's some decor pieces hidden with the furniture. I guess I'll leave my cart here and take a look because I can't get through today. Party light, just a candle. My mom used to decorate little birdhouses like that. Back in the day, sell them. Little plants here. too much in here. Honestly, this door seems a little bit sparse. I'm so worried about my glass in this basket. Every bump I hit makes me nervous. Let's go check out the rest of the store. Vintage sewing table and machine, little chair. Hi, Mark. I'm heading. I'm going to go that way and go around and then come back up to the vintage. I was getting out of your way so you could go oh, that way. Now I'm going to the right. I'm going to go check out, do my normal routine. Yeah, I think I saw this last time. Close grass. Yeah. I think it's 1980s pattern. Oh, gosh. Every bump, my glass rattles. The lamp? I don't think I want to ship that. <laughs> I don't think so. That's the, uh, yeah, Amberina, $10. There's a mercury accented little chip and dip bowl. Yeah, carnival piece, that's kind of high, maybe for that. Kind of interesting. Oh, you want to ship that? You can pack that one. Three piece, twenty dollars. It's. Can you read that? Yeah, it's California original. Okay, that's what it says. Yeah, it's vintage. It's probably nineteen sixties, uh, mid-century oh, modern. Probably point would point. be a good keyword, but I don't. I don't think I want to mess with it. I mean, I could. It wouldn't be that bad. It's only three pieces, but yellow yeah, is okay. not on sale, right? Yellow is not on sale, right? No. Whew, it was so hot in there today, and we're still wearing masks. We found a few things. Not a lot of things, but a few things. Some of it worth pretty decent money, so that makes it worth our trip here. But we were coming down anyway to this area to have lunch. If you like these kind of videos i appreciate a thumbs up but you to like subscribe and ring that bell for notifications and as always thanks for watching i'm vicky with avante avenue i'll see you soon simple sales for good profit